guys welcome back to this channel it's mix from the next creation remember if it's your first time to come across this channel please support this channel by subscribing remember we are looking at the road to 5,000 subscribers it's the only going with your support for the returning subscribers for the new subscribers thank you so much for coming back to this channel i really appreciate it yes another question that was asked called uh, uh, regarding the fifa world cup qatar jobs what you call the three months the six months contract which we are still talking about yes the probation period what is the probation period of those jobs for those people that received those contracts you definitely you need to understand the probation period you need to know how long you are supposed to serve in that probation period Remember, we talked about the entitlement, we talked about what you are entitled to, we talked about, uh, still we talked about a lot. Then, today we want to look at what are you entitled to, what was your probation period. Yes, the probation period for the some of the job offers and the contract that I, I saw for the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022, the three months or six month contract. The probation period was for one month. However, to some things, something that you do need to understand for those people that know uh, want to know about the probation period, your employer can terminate you or can, if you get tentatively get to bleach the contract, he can he has the right to terminate you and take you back to your country. So the probation period of that contract it was only for what we call the six was what we call one year, one month. I beg your pardon, it was one month. For for three months you're going to say, for six months you're going to say. Remember. Well, in six months or three months, you don't become a normal employee of the company. All right? You, be, you, 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 you are part, part of uh, a supplement for the company to finish up its contract or to, 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 to take up a given role. What is the difference between that probation period and the a person who is on a full contract of a two years work visa? For a two year work visa, your probation period is six months. But for this contract of two months or three months and six months, the probation period is one month. That is the difference between the two contracts. The work visa of the two years and the Qatar World Cup jobs of three months and six months probation period. That is where it differs. Meaning that after the three months, you'll, they will have to repatriate you to back to your country because that's the contract. After the six months, the company, if in case the company does not need your service anymore, it will have to repatriate you back to your country. But remember, you cannot change job from here. You definitely need either to exit the company to get you a new visa, then you can return. Or the company to provide for you what you call a no objection certificate. That you can go to another company that gives you the job offer. That will be the only role that will be available at the time. But remember, after you serving all your, your duration period, you'll have to exit. Then you definitely can return back to the country with a new employment. Or in case this company is willing to recruit you or to take you over at the same time. So the probation period of this Qatar World Cup jobs of the three months and the six months uh, contract is one month. Check your contract, check your job offer, check that one is specifically strictly written down however in a clause of the contract your your employer has the right to terminate your contract in case you get to bleach the agreement or in case you get to follow you you do not follow the rules and regulations regarding your job description thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for supporting my channel this makes for the next question see you again in another video